Hi, I'm Scott Goldfine, Editor-in-Chief and Associate Publisher of Security Sales and Integration. I'm delighted to have with me today Danny Garrido, President of Traca Americas. He's going to tell us what to expect for this year's GSX show, what's new with the business, and offer some industry perspective. Danny, thank you for joining me. How are you today? Good. How are you? Glad to be here. I'm doing well. Glad to have you. Let's jump right in. Sure. So, Danny, what is the top product offering that you're showing off at GSX this year, and what makes it unique or special for both the integrator and user perspectives? Well, in addition to all the things we tend to show with integration and enterprise level capabilities, we're actually going to be highlighting our brand new next generation key cabinets this year. So we're excited to get that out there for everyone to see. There's some mechanical enhancements enhancements for security and durability, uh, ease of use enhancements to improve kind of serviceability and that overall customer experience. And of course, you know, as always, right, when you roll out with next generation, a little more sleek, a little more modern design built for future proofing for sustainability in mind. So, yeah, we're really excited to, to get that out there and see what, what everybody thinks. And are there other products or offerings that you're also showing off at the show this year? Yeah, we're also going to have uh, our new medical dispensing locker, which is really a great new innovation that we're using and introducing to the corrections and prison sector. There's nothing like it in the market today. You know, it's one of those things you don't really think about. It's a real challenge with controlling properly, uh, you know, the medication distribution and, and the prison environment, uh, not only to ensure the prisoners are safe, but ensuring it's efficient, uh, efficient and effective, right? So our new MDL lockers allow for more control, a better audit trail, uh, and safe processes to really distribute the medicine to the inmates in a more effective manner, really frees up the time for the security guards to to, to use their time more wisely rather than walking inmates across the prison to get insulin as an example. So we're excited to get that out there because that's a, a product that really came from innovation of listening to our customer. And so we're really excited to really get it out to the general public. Nice. And Danny, what else is new or noteworthy with the company itself as we look toward the end of this year? Sure. I mean, we continue to you know place a significant amount of investment in R and D, ensuring that our solutions not only meeting the needs of today, but really have our eyes on tomorrow. Right. That's really one of the things that we want to want to try and continue to build towards. We've done this, you know, really throughout the entire pandemic, and now it's obviously you know we're kind of moving on from that. puts us in a stronger position, I think, than most. You know, one of the things that maybe surprised people a lot about our, our organization, the size of our R&D team uh, in particular, we have more people in our R&D structure than our competitors have in their entire organization. So it's a really big focus uh, for our team and something that we really work hard and put a lot of resources into to make sure we're always keeping our eyes on the future. So, Thanks for that. And, you know, as an integrator, can you speak a little bit to the value proposition and how, you know, Traca supports the integrator? Yeah, I mean, you know, it all starts with the people. I think for, for us, you know, the amount of resources and time that we invest in not only making sure our solutions are right, but making sure that the people and the resources are there to support the integrators, um, you know, making sure that obviously they can take care of their customers and we as the manufacturer provide that world-class ser service that not only their customers expect, but them as an integrator expect. So, so we really put a lot of emphasis on that. We built our, our, our support structure to really ensure that, that that support process is there through the entire customer journey. And I think that's what a lot of integrators really find important. So. As we start to look forward to 2023, hard to believe it's coming already. Yeah. Uh, what are, you know, one or two market opportunities that you see out there, uh, you know, using your solutions and uh, that are, you know, good opportunities that integrators should definitely have their eyes out for? Yeah, I mean, we've gotten, uh, you know, gone through a lot of changes, I think, this uh, this past year, specifically, when you look at the K through 12 environment, as well as the government sector, we're really starting to see a lot of new traction, given some of the challenges uh, that, that these areas are facing, certainly uh, making sure that the, the key and asset management portion uh, within the government sector uh, is well thought through uh, is really important. And of course, there's been a lot of challenges in the, the K through 12 sector, unfortunately, with 
with some of the things going on. And even in property management, you know, as well, you know, we're working closely with some of our, our government agencies with things like Maya's Law, with the need to control uh, keys more effectively for apartments and condominiums. So those are probably the three areas that we're seeing some of the most changes uh, that, that our integrators could, could help us out with, you know, those relationships and those, those contacts within those industries is how we, we learn and how we, we continue to grow with that voice of the customer as well as uh, our integrators to really ensure we're providing the, the right solution for that market. Outstanding. Well, Danny, is there anything else before we wrap this up you'd like to share? I mean, as always, we're excited to be back out at GSX, seeing our colleagues, seeing all our partners, you know, not only the end users, but of course, all our integrator partners as well, really talking through the challenges of today where Tracker fits into that picture. You know, we, we use shows like this, not just to go out and, and put out our great fancy booth, right? We really want to just continuously learn and onboard the, the voice of our customers. And for us, our customers are our integrators primarily and making sure that we're, we're close to not only what's happening in their world, but in their customers' world so we can make sure we're building those solutions of tomorrow. At the end of the day, it's all about, you know, supporting them, giving that top-notch support from the manufacturer. And that's what everybody wants at the end of the day, right? So, Absolutely. Well, Danny, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thanks for the time. I want to thank viewers and listeners as well for spending time with us. And we hope to see you at GSX 2022. For now, make it a safe day.